Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Create to Inspire YouTube Hop. This hop is brought to you by 12 artists from all over the world hoping to inspire you through our creations. You will find all the information about the hop and links to the artist channels below in the description box. So I encourage you to subscribe to all the artists, like the videos and leave a comment with your name and country and enter to win prizes from our amazing sponsors. This is the project that I created for this hop and so without any further ado, let's get into it. This is what my coat hanger looked like before I got my hands on it. Uh, very old, very dusty, so I gave it a little bit of a clean with a damp cloth. The hearts already had a nice gritty texture to them, so I just went ahead and applied several coats of white acrylic paint just to give them a little bit more of a prime. I did end up applying four or five coats to that middle heart because that was the one that I wanted to decoupage using napkins. Of course napkins are see-through so we want to make sure that we cover up the writing so that it doesn't peek through. I decided to use this vintage hot air balloon napkin. I had already separated the top layer from the bottom too, so we're only using the top layer that has the print on it. And I cut it to the size closer to the size of the heart so that it was easier for me to work with it. I put my napkin face down onto a plastic sheet, pour a nice big puddle of water so that the napkin is floating freely, and using a synthetic brush get all of the air bubbles out from underneath it and get all of the wrinkles out. Next, I pour out the excess water from the file and dab it down. Next, I pick up my file, turn it over and place it onto the heart. Using a little plastic squeegee and make sure that the napkin has adhered to the heart and carefully remove the plastic sleeve. Once the sleeve is off, I dab it down once again just to make sure that the napkin is down and there's no air bubbles or wrinkles anywhere. To glue down my napkin I used Polyvine's Decorators Varnish, feel free to use Mod Podge or PVA glue or any other decoupage glue that you have and leave it to dry. Once my napkin is dry, I take a little bit of sandpaper and remove the excess napkin off of the edges of the heart. To paint the edges of the heart, the two hearts on either side, I used a little bit of brown and black paint I mixed them together and painted the two hearts on the outside of the coat hanger and the edges of the middle heart.
Once those were dry, I take a little bit of this Mars red paint and a little bit of white. Mix them together. Then also add a little bit of black. And using the stencil brush, I dab on the paint through the stencils on the outside hearts. After that I decided that I wanted to make the grows on the middle heart dark as well so I just took a little bit of sandpaper, went through them, cleaned out any napkins to make sure that they were smooth, then took this water-based bitumen imitation and using a little brush applied it into the grove and then wipe away the excess. This is an aging medium, so any patinating or aging medium will be fine for this kind of job. Next I take Art Alchemy Wax by Finnabar in Vintage Gold and using my finger apply it onto the edges of the hearts. Then I'll take this stencil with Victorian borders and corners and again using a stencil brush apply a little bit of wax through the stencil over the top of the two outside hearts. To seal my coat hanger I used Annie Sloan's chalk paint wax, this is clear wax, no particular reason, you could use any water based varnish if you wanted to. I just felt like I haven't used wax for a while so that's what I decided to use. And to finish it off I took some of this brown ribbon and created two bows.
Then took two of these very cute clock embellishments and using hot glue gun, attached them to the top part of the coat hanger. And there you guys go, so this is the finished result. This is what my coat hanger looks like. I personally think it looks way better than it did before. It was very cringy, very outdated. I've had it for a long time, so it was definitely due a makeover and I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I hope that you liked this project and I hope that you learned something new or maybe I gave you some ideas for how you could remake something that you already have in your home. Do let me know what you think to this project and also once again I just wanted to say be sure to check out all of the artists that took part in this YouTube hop Big thank you to the people that organized it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!